my name is Miranda and today I'm here to review episode 4 of Elite and I have to say that this is like halfway through, right? Halfway through the season and this was definitely my favorite episode so far. I just feel like there was so much drama and the acting was so good and there were so many moments where I was like, yeah, so I, I really liked this episode. I was actually really surprised too by a lot of stuff that happened, mainly ship-wise with Guzman and Nadia, I really thought it would take a little bit longer for them to get back to a good place and I'm not complaining at all. I'm so happy that they are back to being friends at least, you know. I love when he was like, I could see why your dad wouldn't want me to date you and she was like, who said anything about dating? He was like, okay, just friends then. Like it was just so, so cute and I love seeing him try and get beg for her forgiveness and do every single thing she asked him. He went to her family like she said and kind of was gonna make himself look like an idiot even more so than he already <laughs> did to them and I think that you know proved to her that he he was kind of in it for the long haul you know and like giving her that gift was so so sweet and you could see that she was kind of like okay maybe I'm being too harsh on him when she opened it and saw that like he got a gift that meant something to her he didn't worry about like getting her something fancy or something expensive like he knew it would mean a lot to her and that's why he got it and I think that's when she started to soften up to him and the whole scene in school at the end was so cute when she walked in and he was like oh you look great and she he had those sunglasses on he was like yeah they're for the hangover and he kind of admitted you know that like the party he had been like oh I'm throwing this party like to raise money for the homeless aren't I such a good guy like he admitted that like it was just an agenda of his father's and he knew it and he played along and he doesn't deserve her forgiveness or anything like that he doesn't deserve her and she was like now you actually do deserve me because he's realizing you know that there there's more to things than just buying people expensive things and making them see and think that you're a good person you actually have to be it and realize your faults and your mistakes and that's what he's doing so it's super super cute to see them together and happy well not together together more on that but like just like happy and like he she truly makes him so happy which is so awesome to see like I think that scene at the end when Guzman defended uh, Marina because the parents were just going on and on about her and Sam and how she embarrassed them and he just like flipped and was like could you lay off like I haven't seen her this happy in a while like I think he was also talking about himself because he knows they wouldn't approve of Nadia as much as he says like her family doesn't approve of him like his wouldn't approve of her either so I think like when he was saying like I haven't seen Marina smile this much in a while he's also talking about himself with Nadia because that dork smiles so so much when she's around like it's so so super cute how he just turns into an absolute marshmallow when she's around so I think like that was him like that frustration coming out and that like he wants to be with her and he knows his parents wouldn't approve because of how they're acting with Sam and Marina so like that was him not only defending her which was super nice and you could see that she really appreciated it but also him kind of venting his frustration about how they would react to him and Nadia but also like saying that like she makes him happy and that's so so cute. Ander and Omar also I guess you could say fully like made up in this episode which was so so awesome and so cute too. I really really want to see more of them because those two just like they're made for each other guys. They're just so so cute and the way that Ander had to like kind of like trick him into meeting with him because he was ignoring him by being discreet 19 and then Omar was just like well I came all the way here you're adorable like I can't say no and the flirting is just like guys I could when <laughs> when Ander was like if you leave now you're not gonna figure out what the 19 in my name is and it's not my age I was like who gave the this boy the right to be this <laughs> dorky and charming at the same time and it's just so I, I really love them together even though they're two just dumb idiots in love because who literally goes to sneak off and make out and basically dry hump each other at a party and not like, like they were away from people but they were like 20 feet away from people and like Sam and Guzman found them so quickly and were just like well this is why our friends have been acting so weird lately and I do appreciate how they added in the part of like they're both Guzman and Sam are both like upset that they didn't tell them like their friends didn't think enough of them because I think that's like a common thing is you know like you're so worried about telling your friends and then them reacting negatively but then if you don't tell your friends like your friends get upset because it's like would you really think I would react negatively so I like how they're playing that out and how there's the different emotions with it also loved when <laughs> Sam like told Omar to come over and was like I know what you're doing and Omar thought he was talking about drug dealing so he was like I just do it to make money and Sam's face was like 
you charge for it. Like I was laughing so that whole, they were like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It was, it was too much. It was so good. And then Guzman and on their, um, their confrontation scene, I think was absolutely one of my favorite scenes of the whole entire series so far. The guy who plays on there absolutely killed that scene when he was just saying like, do you know how much pressure I have on me? Do you know like I've been lying for years about liking tennis, about being this perfect kid and you could see like his hand wasn't hurting. He had told the doctor earlier that it was still hurting but he just didn't want to play for longer. So he was like, it's not hurting and like the way he just like s like slowly like raised his hand and then started ramming it against the locker was just like, I was like, oh my gosh and he just like absolutely lost it and like he was just really trying to like break his hand like hurt his hand and Guzman like pulled him back and was like stop 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 and he was just like right in his face he was like spitting he was so mad and he was like it just seems like that's all I am the tennis player like I hate it and Guzman's like why don't you just quit and he's like because my family has invested so much money and like this is all I'm good at for them you know and like the way he just like collapsed and freaked out and like Guzman had him and like was comforting him but you could also tell he was like like this is what Guzman has been wanting you know his friend to be real with him but I feel like this is so much more than he anticipated you know so I feel like I feel like Guzman truly is a good friend I feel like he's a good friend to honor and he really wants to be there for him I just think there's so much more going on with honor and he's so upset and angry about so much and is hiding so much that I feel like it's way more, like, I feel like Guzman comforting him, I'm glad they showed, like, him, like, when on their collapse on him, he still, like, grabbed him and was, like, comforting him because I feel like that shows that he's gonna try and help him. It's just that I feel like he was just so shocked that his best friend, who he's known since he was little, has been hiding all this from him and could, like, just freak out like that without him having any indication. So I hope that now it's kind of all in the open, Guzman will be able to help him more. Uh, but that scene was just heart-wrenching. Like, I had to watch it a couple times because it was just so well-acted and so good how it just starts with, like, this quiet anger and then all of a sudden he just slams his hand repeatedly, like, against the locker and it's just, like, freaking out. It was so, like, all the props to the actor in that scene because he was so, so good. Then, surprisingly, this is what makes... Okay, so I've said before I don't like Christian and I don't really care for Polo. I love Carla though and this is what makes those scenes so hard to watch because like I want to fast forward them and then I'm like my girl like I gotta watch her and my girl killed it this episode okay so first she had like that awesome moment where she and Lou I guess are in a fight and Lou was like whatever blah 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 and Carla realized like when she was with Christian and Polo at the party she's like oh you're not mad at me you're jealous let's go boys and then like walked away with them and Lou was just like <sighs> <laughs> and then she also had the awesome moment where they left the party when her mom wanted to kind of like show her off and stuff like that. Christian was like, let's just leave. And then they ran away and her mom was like, stop, like, no, where are you going? And then she kissed Polo and then Christian and then Polo and Christian kissed each other. And I was like, that right there is big dick energy. Like that is Carla to a T. Like I was just my girl. I was like, you, you go girl. Like just live your life, you know? Other than that, we got a little bit of development with Nano and, uh, his whole thing of, you know, just trying to pay that money back and not getting it and how that's causing like this kind of secrecy now. Marina's in on it, so she's going to help him, but Sam still doesn't know. So that's like this like secret between them that, you know, they have now together that will shape outside of Sam. I was also surprised like that Marina like actually was like, going out with Sam in this episode because I thought like she didn't like him like that and maybe she does but just feels more strongly for Nano or maybe she feels like she should like Sam uh but she doesn't like him romantically I don't know so I'm interested to see how that will develop just also really sad like watching these things and then knowing like Marina's dead you know like watching like the interrogations and everything on this interrogation at the end can we talk about how freaky that was because like they were saying they were talking about her old boyfriend Pablo who affect infected her and how Guzman like beat him within an inch of his life but on there and everyone is covering saying that like Guzman didn't touch him blah 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 but like just the way the interrogation scene ended where he was like no he didn't touch him and then like it was flashing back to like Guzman beating him up like blood everywhere on their screen and like stop stop and then like he looked at the camera like straight at the camera like and I was like 
that was terrifying. So it was just such a good episode all around, guys. I loved it so, so freaking much. And I'm so, so excited to see what the rest of the season has in store. It's just so hard because I don't want to get through it, you know, because I don't know when season two is. There's going to be so many questions and stuff like that. So if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also, make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel down below to make all sorts of new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.